Prince George sits right in the middle of British Columbia, on the banks of the Fraser River. Just east of town is Pagara Speedway, a stock car racing association that's been going for more than six decades. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Look what I got. Driver teams are registering for race day on this quiet morning. She's got the longest last name in the world. It doesn't stay quiet for long. I just feel, feel the rumbling of the cars going around the track. I like cheering for my dad. I mean, you can come out here and maybe it's not your cup of tea, but you've got to see it. It's like once it's in your blood, it's in your blood to stay. The Prince George Automobile Racing Association, or Pagara, started on a dirt track in 1958. There were 10 guys, they were sitting in a machine shop downtown Prince George. It was a Thursday or Friday night, they had some drinks, so they decided to form a club and they came up with Pagara Speedway. Prince George was a noisy logging town back in the late 1950s, but the howl of race cars was soon too much for the growing suburbs. That's when the city started coming in around the racetrack and then complaining about noise. Well, so the racetrack lost. In 1985, the track moved to its current location, a natural bowl of land north of the regional airport. It's been there ever since, and there's no way that they can make us move because they can't tell us no noise pollution because of the airport. Aaron Kahn is vice president of the community-owned Pagara Speedway Park. This weekend, Aaron is also the pit boss, who makes sure drivers follow the rules. Okay, so we'll just let the street stocks give them about six, seven minutes or so, and then we'll give you guys some time by yourselves. You know, I turn into a little bit of a jerk. Somebody has to be the boss and direct. And, uh, but that's at the end of the race day. We're all friends and family. Stock car racing has been in Aaron's family for three generations. I grew up here. I've been a little kid here, playing in the tires, getting all dirty, playing on the hills. Aaron learned racing from his dad, Milton, who first drove stock cars on dirt. I got a 56 Ford, and I'm not sure I bought it from a neighbor down the road, and I don't know whether I paid for it or my dad paid for it. Some friends of ours we all decided to go racing, and so away we went. When Aaron turned 14, Milton put his son into a go-kart. Even to this day, when I run into dad's old friends, they remember me as that little punk that would run around and ask to steer their race cars onto the trailer, and so I got hooked, and I've always wanted to go stock car racing. Before purpose-built race cars, all automobile racing was stock car racing. It still has a wild side. It's going to be bumping. It's going to be rubbing. There's no getting away from it. You hit the wall a certain way, bends the car enough, it's over. You're building a new one. This year, Aaron's 14-year-old son, Corbin, is learning how to race. So I want you to try first gear. I know you're trying to focus on the track, too, but let's try to... Uh see what it does at first. Corbin volunteered around the track until he got his chance to drive. All of a sudden, my dad yells at me. He's like, come over here. Then he's like, you want to run this car? This is your only chance. So I took it, even though I was scared. I kind of told him, it's up to you. If you want to try it, it's now or never, bud. So I threw him in the car, and he did eight laps, and he was hooked. So let's just see what happens and listen. And if it doesn't seem like it's going to be any better, then shift it to the one that you've been in, OK? With help from sponsors, father and son spent the winter souping up Corbin's $300 car. This is a Ford dual overhead cam 16 valve engine, four cylinder. The camber is to keep the tire from chunking, and then we don't go through the tires as fast. So it helps lean with left side turns. OK, so you're all the way back? All the way back now? OK, try that. OK, let's go. figure out a couple things here, make sure the tires are all good, but See, I definitely want to keep an eye on the right front because it's starting to blister just a little bit, and when you blow a right front, it's usually not good. It's just time and time. The more laps, the better, the better, the better. The Gary Speedway is a 3 8 mile oval track with four corners. Each corner is banked at 14 degrees. This weekend, 69-year-old Lyle McComber was the quickest of the regular track classes at 17.035 seconds in the street stocks. All right, time for street stock. Nine exit, Lyle McComber. I love going fast. 
I love the competition. Like last night's race with Rolt, when he just about got me on the inside, that's fun. This spring, the Pagara Association spent $300,000 to repave the oval, which helped Lyle go faster. We have a great big upgrade done to the track, and it's awesome, nice smooth surface. The best thing about Lyle, too, is he's a competitor. He wants to race door handle to door handle with that next car, too. Lyle has raced here since 1987, but not all drivers have his veteran experience. Rookies, start your positions for the dash and heat. The main event, you go to the back for three races. Three race days, then after that, you're considered a veteran driver. Let's get going. Hornets oh, first. Any, any, like, I'm Amanda, and this is my car. I'm Jarrett uh, from Quinnell. I've never been to a racetrack before I met Jarrett. I love the sound of the race cars. I love the racetrack. I love the people. I love being in a car. I like driving fast. The old track was good. This is way better. Richard Meyer drove eight hours from Kitimat to race his legend class car on the new asphalt. You can race this car in Florida, Saskatchewan. They race them in Saudi Arabia, Australia. Of course, Australia, they go the other way. On Saturday, Richard had the best race day of his life. I swept. I've been doing this in this car for five years. Never have I had a day like that. So yesterday was my day. All right, it's time for the legend race here. On Sunday, Richard is back for more glory. All right, so we got number two, Phil Hust out there. Number five, Cole Jefferson, number 37, four. Number 26, Richard Meyer. Number six, Steve Jefferson, and number 13, Ron Bramble. There's a lot of movement, though. It's hard to say. Number 26, really coming in fast. Looks like he hit the wall. We're watching play. Yellow, we're going to see if everything's OK. He knew it as soon as it happened, and unfortunately, the turn three wall bit him. I tried to pass too many cards in the first half. And next thing I knew, I was in the wall. Looks all right, not too much contact, but he is in the wall here. Richard was mad at himself after he racked up. And the owner was very upset with the driver. I know in certain terms, let him know exactly that he's kind of cheesed off at him. So it's just racing luck. One day you got it, one next day you don't. You can be on top of the world, and next day, first race, you could be first loser. What I love about Pagera is that we are one big family down here. We make friends and those friends are enemies for a very short period of time, and then they're, then they're friends again. So we gotta watch the chunking here. By Sunday afternoon, the tread on Corbin's street tires are fraying badly. You're asking a street car to go left as fast as it can with the stock speed, with the stock components. I like the way that he's entering that corner and coming out. That's really good. He's starting to get the line. He's to pick up a little bit more on the straightaway. They were teaching me the gas and brake points. I'm still learning those a little bit. As Corbin gets more competitive, he runs into more competition. I accidentally took someone's line, and I didn't realize it. And then another car comes around. I'm trying to get around it. Just slams into my passenger side door. Denting the car a little bit and scratching it. We all learn from our mistakes. Basically, as a dad, yes, I'm worried. I know his mom's worried. I mean, you're going to be a little scared the first time you're out there with six or seven cars. But no, he did very well. Racing's racing. It's, it's going to happen. It's all up to him. I don't really think any, about anything. Just go. Pagara Speedway, a sports racing oval with a heart and an important landmark in Prince George, BC. I race mini stocks. It's a lot of fun. It gets you out of the trap or out of the house. You make a lot of friends. Um. <laughs> um, I'm pretty aggressive. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm in it to win it. <laughs> There's just something that's like, it just snaps and it's like, you're in like a zone. 
and nothing else really matters. It's kind of awkward when you're at like the front and everyone's staring at you. <laughs> Over a dozen trophies at my house, <laughs> probably close to like 24, 25 trophies. <laughs> That's really um, yeah, I go all over. I went to Alberta last year, the year before, and I won two races there. Um, I got points champion when I first started racing. They're all, it's like we're all one big family. When we're racing, it's friends off, but. <laughs> After the races, we're all together and happy and hanging out. When we go to Quinnell or Williams Lake or even Alberta, we'll just take the motor home and like a whole bunch of us from our class will go or from the racetrack and we'll all just kind of convoy there together. I honestly love watching my daughter race. Yeah. That's what I love. My daughter's name is Tiffany Rose. She drives the 13 car. It holds the track record for the old Pagera track when we put the new track up, the new records were broke. Um, she holds track records unofficial for Quinnell, Williams Lake, Terrace. She was 15 when she started and she's good. Well, I do worry about my daughter when we're racing because she does go fast speeds. So uh, I have my little panic attacks when I see her out there and I can get a little agitated if she gets hit. <laughs> when we are racing, I'm the main pit crew. So I do the tires, the temps, I do everything down there, get my drivers both all on the track. And when we are racing, between races, I sell 50-50. And I also do 50-50 when we're not racing. For the most part, like I got a lot of um, help with her dad. And um, that's where it got me into the car faster and faster. Is he kept helping me more and more with it. And, now me and him basically sit in the shop and help each other with ideas and build off of that. It's kind of fun for sure. Yeah, just getting out for the weekend and basically the speed of it and pushing the car to go farther and farther and whatever with it. So, Well, the favorite actually was when I was running with the, the misses. That was fun. But when you're close door handle to door handle, it makes it a lot more fun just for... You know, once you get past everybody and if you're way out front, it's kind of boring, you know, you're out there by yourself, you might as well. It's fun when everybody can stick together for sure. Camaraderie, uh, family, uh, foes, <laughs> there's, uh, uh, you make friends. And those friends are enemies for a very short period of time, and then they're then your friends again. That's the way I was raised around around the tracks. You know, you just uh, uh, you help your buddy get out there and race. So there's competition out there, I guess. You want your competition's car to be running so you can kick his butt. <laughs> Even before I started hanging out at the track, uh, uh, I heard people talking about getting it paved, and and uh, my family started hanging out at the track, and and uh, we thought we could help, so they uh, nominated me for a board member. Prince George is, is isn't huge, but it it's got a huge huge heart, I guess. Uh, the people they they step up when they're needed. And that's what happened here. Like, uh, we got some sponsors, we saved up money, but the sponsors, they, they stepped up huge. Like the trucking and the concrete and stuff that, that most people don't realize we didn't buy. It was donated, it was sponsored. And that's, that's just huge.
I like the noise of the cars going around the track. It's, it, it's really fun. I just feel, feel the rumbling of the cars going around the track through the stands. It's amazing. I like cheering for my dad. I go down over there and I grab the trophy from him. I haven't been really down in the pits. Uh, I've normally been up in like the fields and the stands. Uh, so probably ne next race or something, I'll probably be down in the pits. It's fun when you're driving around the crash truck because you can just go around the whole track picking up all the parts that come off the cars. I'm one of the board of directors here at Brigera. I've been for the past few years. Uh, I'm also a racer, builder, uh, class president and stuff like that. Uh, pretty much I eat and breathe coming here to the track and being with my friends. I like the sound, the feel, the the adrenaline you get when you're when you're out on the track racing against your friends. Um, the sense of camaraderie when you're hanging out, uh, testing everything, testing yourself, testing your abilities as a, as a builder and as a driver. Uh, I just get it, it's just a big high, something that nobody, a lot of people can't do. I just like enjoy that racing part of it. Uh, there is a lot of science and stuff like that behind the, the building of a race car and stuff like different angles, different how to keep the car on the track without sliding and hitting the wall. Um, there's a lot of factors going in. It's not just turning left all the time and all the time. Sure, everybody can drive down a straight line, but turning, adding the turning element to it, it's a big deal and keeping your momentum and everything like that. It's, it's a lot of stuff going into involved, going into building a car and actually keeping it going. It's a big family actually and there's a lot of people that are not necessarily directed to the track that had some affiliation to the track, have been involved with the track in the past as a builder, racer, sponsor or something part of the track or no family or friends that have raced before of different classes in different years. It's deep in this town. It's not just for the gearhead. It is some family entertainment. It's low cost. It's for four hours of entertainment on a Saturday night. Come and have fun. I like the fact that it's like one big family. Everybody's here for not just the racing, it's for the fun too. We just, uh, we meet out here sometimes, uh, work parties or anything like that. And we just, it's, like I say, it's just a family fun thing. It's something that you have to try. I mean, you can come out here and maybe it's not your cup of tea, but you've got to see it. Like I say, it's, it's, I've seen and talked to a lot of people that haven't realized just how much fun they come out here and say, I'm so glad I went. It's, you know, and I'll be back again for sure. The class that you're in, the more cars that you get out there, the more fun it is. So if you can keep every, each other running, you just do what you can to help them stay out there. Well, like says, this is my seventh year here and uh, I've been just in love with the motorsport there. It's like once it's in your blood, it's in your blood to stay. We're trying to get more camping involved, like uh, we were down in Merritt and uh, everybody camped out and we're slowly bringing that back because people, they load up and go home at the end of the day and we want this more of a family affair. And We started uh, putting kids rides on now and uh, Fan Fest last race day, that was a big hit there. So a little bit of, uh, helps each time. Well, it's with motorsport there. If someone breaks, you'll get guys going in different directions to help out. And it's the same when I was racing there. I'd rather beat the guy on the track than for him sitting in the pits. <laughs>